views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. My name is David Nussenbaum with Bronx Arts Ensemble. We have some more formal proceedings uh, after dinner, but we're very lucky to have Assemblyman Jeff Dinowitz here, and he has to run. So he really wanted to say a couple of words of welcome, so I'm going to pass the microphone to Jeff, and then we have another guest who I'll introduce in a second. Okay, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Okay, the good news is I do have to run because I'm going to be knocking on doors in a few minutes. So, well, I'm loud. The, the, the sound system, on the other hand, may not be. Um, so that means I'm going to be brief. I, I really just wanted to come by to say thank you and to congratulate the Bronx Arts Ensemble, to congratulate the honorees. And we have these really great proclamations over there, which we presented later. Uh, so the better news is I'm not going to read any of them. Uh, but I did want to thank the honorees, and um, they would make anybody proud, a lawyer, a principal, and a teacher. And each of them, in their own way, uh, really deserve a lot of congratulations for the work they do, either for the Bronx Arts Ensemble or for the, uh, for the kids. And the Bronx Arts Ensemble, you know, we go to some of their concerts, and, and I've helped get funding over the years, and I think we're working on some additional funding. But it's more than just the music, the beautiful music in the Bronx that people don't have to leave uh, to go to Manhattan to listen to. It's also the work they do in the school. So for all that, I just want to say thank you and congratulations. Congratulations to the honoree and good job. I don't know, I'm afraid to even say anything. Maybe I blew out the uh, system. Okay. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. I, I, is it? Is that mic getting in the way? I can't hear myself right now, but... Um, okay, well, I'll try to sneak in a couple of words before... Okay, good. Well, um, I think some of you, I recognize some faces of some of you who were at our Memorial Day concert. It got kind of rained out, but it was in Vladek Hall and amalgamated, and, that was really thanks to uh, Jeffrey Dinowitz. So uh, thank you again, Jeff. It was a wonderful concert. We hope to collaborate on more things in the future. We also have another special guest who also has to run because the mayor is keeping him very busy. So I'd like to ask Fahmad to say a couple of words on behalf of Mayor Bill de Blasio. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Fumbo Conan. I, I work for the mayor's office. I'm the Bronx Borough Director. It's an honor to be here today. Um, I want to apologize because the mayor couldn't make it. I really wanted him to be here because this, I was here last year. Was, this is a great crowd. I really wanted him to be here <laughs> today, but he couldn't make it. But anyway, he gave a letter to me to present, and Sue has asked me to read it. So with your permission, I can read the letter. Yes, sir. Is that OK? Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So this, the city of New York office of the mayor, June 7, 2018. Dear friends, it is with great pleasure to welcome everyone to the Bronx at Ensemble 45th Anniversary Gala. Exposure to the arts helps young people tap into their potential and realize their dreams and their and that is why my administration have made an unprecedented investment in arts education. We are proud to have the partnership of dedicated community organizations like the Bronx Arts Ensemble, which has helped nurture creativity in youth and laid down the groundwork 
for a more inclusive and diverse arts community in the borough and beyond. Through its variety of live performances that show kids musical tradition from around the world, multidisciplinary addicts, residences for students, after school programming and more, BAE has played a pivotal role in expanding access to our city dynamic artistic skin and supporting the growth of the next generation of artists and creators. As BAE staffs and supporters gather to celebrate this organization's 45th anniversary and its tremendous impact, I deplore its ongoing mission and all of and all it has done to enhance the cultural fabric of the Bronx and guide young people on the path to brighter future. On behalf of the city of New York, congratulations to this year's honorees. Please accept my best wishes for a wonderful gala and continued success. Sincerely, your Bill de Blasio, Mayor. Yeah. Nice. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, and now that we have representation from the mayor and from the state assembly, we have Eric Dinowitz here on behalf of the city council to say a couple of words. Oh, good evening, everybody. Um, I don't have a fancy letter. I apologize for that. Um, but we do have uh, also proclamations from the city council for the honorees. Um, and. Uh, just so I, I, I met uh, one of the honorees tonight. <laughs> um, I do want to say I, I'm a special needs teacher at Celia Cruz High School. Um, and many of my students um, struggle very much, whether it's with academics, because, because they struggle with academics, or they struggle with language, or they have struggles at home. Uh, but there is one thing all of my students at my school have in common, and that's the arts. And it's incredible to see how these students who have uh, um, so many difficulties in various areas can come together and show, show success, show a lot of success and happiness and, and joy and growth in the area of the arts. So I want to thank the Bronx Arts Ensemble and the honorees for supporting the Bronx Arts Ensemble uh, for, the ch for the children of our community and for, and for students around the city of New York. Thank you so much, Jeff. And to Eric and to Fama. Uh, so we, I believe, dinner is ready to go. Um, uh, am I correct in that? Uh, so I'll ask four or five minutes. Okay. So in four or five minutes, dinner will be ready to go. So take your time, and uh, you'll see the um, the buffet. Uh, wheeled out and then uh, have a nice meal and then when it's over we'll have some more formal uh, presentations of uh, our honoree awards and a very special performance for you uh, which um, I'm really excited to see. to eat and um, thank you to Van Cortland Park we really appreciate it to the boat to the boathouse Steve and his crew really appreciate it thanks for a wonderful meal and thanks for your lovely venue it's just incredible um, I just like to say a couple of words of welcome and then our board chair Bob Fanuzzi also wants to say a couple of things 
Um, so as you can see on your programs, we're celebrating 45 years of Bronx Arts Ensemble. I'd like to acknowledge Louise Scribner, who was one of the founders of Bronx Arts Ensemble. And um, Louise has so many wonderful stories about the ensemble and even about our uh, quarters that uh, for a time were up here in the uh, lake house uh, before it was renovated. So I've heard some uh, horror stories about uh, that venue. Um, but it's 45 years, and it's also another milestone, which is 25 years of our relationship with the Department of Education and our uh, arts and education program that was founded by Bill Scribner and by Louise Scribner. And really, 25 years ago, we were really pioneers in what has become an industry of its own, which is arts, arts and education in the New York City public school system. So I was thinking I did a little bit of quick math in terms of what 45 years of concerts means. And um, you know, in a positive sense, uh, we, I sort of did a quick estimation of about 68,000 people have listened to our concerts. And in terms of our 25 years of arts and education, roughly 100,000 kids have benefited from some arts education from Bronx Arts Ensemble over those 25 years. So those are pretty good numbers. Thank you. And um, for me personally, it's been just my favorite job. As many of you know, I came from the private sector, and um, it's really been fun. Uh, and challenging and fun to sort of observe artists uh, do their magic and observe artists in terms of how they perform music and how they teach the arts. And it's really exciting for me to observe uh, the interaction between the artists and their audience and their students. And that, to me, is one of the, the great joys of uh, just being part of this, is to see that magic happen and to learn from them. And it's really, really intoxicating for me. And it's also a joy to work with my staff. So I would like to acknowledge our staff. If you could uh, stand, please. appreciate all the hard work. Thank you. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Bob, uh, who has a couple of opening words, and then we'll get on with the formal um, uh, awards. Thank you, David. Um, I am Bob Fiduzzi, and I'm the chair of the Bronx Arts Ensemble. I'm finishing, I guess, my first year of chair, and I cannot be more proud of the work that David and his staff have done in this year. Um, as well as my fellow board members. And um, I can't go any farther um, than stop right now and ask my fellow board members to stand up and take a bow. Um, and everyone. Now, board membership is volunteer, but as you all know, it is not thankless. In fact, uh, we get tremendous gratification from working on really one of the Bronx's great success stories. Um, and it's been a privilege for me to serve on the board these past few years and finally to be chair this year. Um, I did start coming to BAE as a concert goer. Um, I needed some relief and some enrichment from art. Um, that I got because I was a little too involved in my work and I was um, running through a stint as community board chair here in the Bronx and if you're involved in local politics you know there's only one thing that's going to make that go away and it's going to be Mozart. Okay, <laughs> you, You've got to get in Brahms. You've got to hear that um, diversamento, the Bach. Uh, you need this very badly. And what started as a pastime has become, guess what, a cause. Okay, It's become my favorite board commitment and something that 
all my board members share because we really have something unique. We can say that for 45 years, we have been part of the Bronx and rebuilding the Bronx. Think of where the Bronx has come in 45 years. We are now a destination for, God help us, development in the South Bronx. Okay. We're actually fighting gentrification there. Did you ever hear that that would happen? And it was not single family homes on Charlotte Street. No, no. We're talking urban density, galleries, and guess what, concerts like BAE venues, okay? Um, the Bronx has come such a long way, and I cannot say that we did it by the top-down developers and politicians. You know who it was? It was artists. Um, it was arts-related economic development has a special place in our nation's history, and it's because of the Bronx. A lot of stuff that people take for granted now, like having arts as the foundation of a community, um, not politicians and only business owners in charge. That really started here. I'm very, very proud that Bill Scribner was one of the first people to realize that if you're going to be an organization helping people get to their potential in the Bronx, you're going to have to do it through music. And what better way is to reach people through the schools? So um, this has been part of the Bronx sex story. And I really think that Bronx Ensemble is part of that story as well. So just let me say what's been wonderful about this last year, especially the work that David and Judith in cell. Is she here today? OK. Um, I have to tell you, because you're going to see the story of arts and education here in one moment. It's going to wow you. We're going to talk about that. And you're going to not talk about it. You're going to see it. It's even better than talking about it. You're going to see the impact that we're making on Bronx kids. But I have to tell you that. When you have something as beautiful as arts and education and as beautiful and wonderful as Bronx kids and the teachers and arts educators who love it, you also realize that, hey, maybe you should start learning from the people that you're actually bringing music to. Maybe you should start, OK, changing Brahms and Mozart a little bit. So Judith and David this year put together this program that blew me away. Heidi, you, I am right, correct? There was, if you were there, you saw an Indian sitar band and our Bronx Arts Ensemble duking it out with some kind of mashup of East meets West and all with a single note which um, can drive some people sometimes, you know, that kind of monotone in Asian. I loved it. Oh my God, it was, it, it was utterly transfixing. There have been moments this year that have been utterly transfixing of in, as, a, as a music lover, OK? And Paquito de Rivera, one of the legends of Bronx our, uh, Latin jazz, um, was our headliner for an afternoon and not only gave an incredible performance, he gave a teach-in, a talk about where he came from, why he does what he does. Again, as a consumer of music, I have felt that Bronx Arts Ensemble is not only my cause, not only my belief, but it's also my pastime. It still gives me that wonderful feeling of elevation. And now we have a fully world music repertoire that really reflects our wonderful borough. So I can't say enough about the work that Judith and that David have done this year. And our board, you can imagine what it's like to shepherd boards through and organizations through these great change. And here, I just have to tell you, we're sitting at the same table. OK, so something's really good. And I just have to say something else. We must have done something right. Um, you are here, and you're here because of the lovely friends and all the work that um, our organization does. And kudos to you also if you're here because of a board member, because we really uh, value your friendship deeply. And make sure you talk to us. Make sure you meet everybody here, and make sure that we get your, your support and friendship. We're deeply grateful for that. So I've gone on way too long. David has an incredible program to present to you. I just want to say now I'm uh, deeply grateful for your support of our organization here today. And I'll say a few words to you at the end. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Really appreciate the support. OK, so now's the fun part. We're going to recognize our three honorees. And um, I'd like to ask. Um, Josh Alloy to come up. I'd like to say a couple of words about Josh, my introduction. So I have some formal things that are written down here. If I can get my phone to work again. Uh, just some formal background information about Josh. 
Um, so Joshua Loy is a counsel at Arnold and Porter, which is one of the nation's largest uh, firms. And his specialty is labor and employment, and he's based in DC. Um, he handles all aspects of labor and employment matters, including day-to-day -day counseling, litigation, internal investigations, and audits and corporate transactions. Um, and so um, that's a little bit background on Josh. And his wife is here um, uh, with him. And uh, just on a more informal basis, uh, I can tell you that he actually took on some pro bono work uh, to help us in, a, in a, a pretty messy situation that I won't go through the details with you on. But, um, and this was years ago. I mean, it's in my notes here. Was it 2008 or? Yeah. So it's been 10 years. And he even took the case with him from his prior employer, the prior law firm where he was working, and brought it to Arnold and Porter. And uh, we are so grateful. He really um, was very, very diligent, very hardworking on a, a very complex matter, showed great maturity, and, um, and was just a, a joy to work with. I mean, I, 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 I don't want to, I'm not one to sort of go overboard on this, but, um, but it was many, many, many phone calls and meetings and discussions. Um, and um, I'm really pleased to say that you know he got us some wonderful results, which we're very grateful for, which means we can do that much more of what we're supposed to be doing, which is uh, providing arts to the Bronx. So we're really we're very grateful to Josh. So thank you very much, Josh. <laughs> I'll hold that for you. Thank you very much, David, uh, for those kind words. Uh, I thought I'd just talk very briefly. I mean, you're right. The, the matter started in 2008, which what I thought at the time was supposed to be a relatively straightforward, simple matter, and, and it turned into a, a nine-year uh, slog. But and, and, I, and I'm glad to say that we've continued our relationship with the Bronx Arts Ensemble since that matter has, yeah. has ended. But I've taken a lot of both professional and, and personal gratification from my work with you all. And, uh, professionally, you know, I had an opportunity as, a, as a, an associate to take on a matter and, and do a lot of work that, that I otherwise wouldn't on a pro bono basis. Uh, and, and so that, that, that's been fantastic to sort of shepherd you through that process. And, and personally, um, I, I sort of married into a very musical family. My wife, uh, I, I'm not very musical, although I love music, uh, but my wife plays violin and my two young children are both learning piano and violin. And so I've, I've really come to appreciate from going to all of my wife's concerts with my children <laughs> since the age of, since they were two, how important you know community orchestras are for, for, for local communities and how important arts and education is. And I see that with my kids in school every day. And I, and I just think that the schools here uh, benefit so greatly from, from what you do with your arts and education program. And so I thank you for that as well. Thank you. Okay, I have to turn it back on. Do you want to? Oh, I just can't get the other one. Okay, so who's going to introduce who? Moses. So Moses. Where's Moses? Right here. Okay. Moses is going to make an introduction. Yes. Hello. Um, Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone is enjoying themselves. Uh, I certainly am. Um, <laughs> I just ate a little bit. I feel a lot better. I was having low blood sugar. I don't operate well, you know. But um, here I am, and uh, here we are, you know, after quite some time. 
Um, years ago, I had a wonderful opportunity to come to this very uh, location and sit down with a, a very nice, uh, interesting, uh, engaging Bill Scribner. And, um, you know, he hired me. You know, he was the original Bronx Arts Ensemble point person, you know, and uh, I just, you know, I had the opportunity to begin work with the Bronx Arts Ensemble, and the first school that they happened to put me in was their International Community High School, Yay. all right? <laughs> and that was a long time, over a decade ago, and um, I had the chance to meet someone who to this day, you know, I'm very, I'm, uh, I feel blessed to have met, and uh, I've heard it said that the ideals of youth either languor or are tempered with time, okay? And I feel I've been in proximity to someone who I've seen get better. She was good when I met her. And over the years, she's just gotten better, you know? More of a leader, more of an orchestrator, more of a, just someone who brings things together. The strong, silent type, if you will, because she's not at the forefront. She doesn't do the fanfare. She doesn't do this. <laughs> well, we got her here today, so she's going to do it, right? Um, and, you know, I wrote a bunch of stuff down, and I'm just going off the head. Um, just, you know, I've had a chance to see, you know, what excellence looks like, you know, for 10 years, for over 10 years, you know? And, um, and that's it. You know, without further ado, you know, Berena. Thank you, Moses. Moses McCarter. Um, yes, um, so my name is Verena Cavarcas. I'm the principal of International Community High School. Incredibly proud to have so many of our students here waiting to perform for you, and uh, so many of the staff members that make every single day possible. And I'm just also grateful for this honor. Um, and Louise, a special uh, shout out to you, as I still remember the first day that you walked into my office with Bill, to tell me about all the things that you could potentially do for our students. And because of that work, so many more of our students stayed with us and graduated. So thank you. I can't hold all these <laughs> So here, that's great. Okay. One of our graduates, who is now currently working with us and runs an arts program after school, John Vilson, is here with us. I wanted him here with me when we received the proclamation, which we just got, uh, partly because it's from Councilwoman Ayala. And John Vilson has already been honored by uh, Councilwoman Ayala for his work with Magic Box. So please, let's give him a shot. And were you one of our students? Yes? Yes. Okay. Did he make you work hard? Not really. Not really? <laughs> All right, but he made everyone over there work hard. All right, so I am introducing to you Moses, Moses McCarter. But we all call him Bronx. Why is that? Because before I met him, he had already made a commitment to working with Bronx youth. And his entire career has been one where he has been inspiring students, especially, I must say, my students. He has been there for them when they had no one else. He was the one who came to teachers. He's the one who came to me to advocate for his kids. And I am just so, so lucky that he ended up in our, in our school. Once again, Louise, thank you. Um, and Moses, I can't see ourselves living day by day in our school without you. 
So thank you very much. So come on board. Um, I'm humble. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Verena. Thank you. Um, and I just want to say, you know, um, you could be so lucky. You could be so lucky that you live and breathe and eat and survive and make your living on the day-to-day -day doing what you love. So if you haven't yet, go out there and get it. It doesn't matter the age. You know, live that life that you love. And I'm blessed enough to do so. So thank you. Thank you. Now, to introduce this uh, special performance, I'd like to call on one of the senior members of our staff, Myra Medina, to say a couple words. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Myra Medina. I am actually the education program manager for Bronx Arts Ensemble. Um, I really don't need this. <laughs> You know, I'm Latina. We speak really loud. We have big voices. Um, I've actually had the pleasure of working with International Community High School for the past couple of years. And through them, um, I've you know, seen all the types of programs that we've done with them with regards to movement. And one of the most capturing ones has been working with Moses in your Capoeira. Um, program and that's one of the things that we'll be showcasing tonight um, these wonderful students from that school their commitment their hard work their time showing up every day um, Mondays Tuesdays Wednesdays Thursdays to work with him and it has been a pleasure um, and thank you so much for everyone at that school thank you so much for Moses I no I think we've known each other for what Quite some time. Quite some time. Um, we've bought it together. He knows my family. I know his, and it's been an awesome time here. So I hope you guys enjoy and have a great time. Thank you.
already. So anyway, enough of that. Uh, Capoeira is an African-Brazilian, back to what you actually asked me to speak about. <laughs> Capoeira is an African-Brazilian martial art. You know, I love Capoeira. It has elements of dance, elements of martial art, acrobatic. There's game involved. It can be very dangerous. You know, we learn self-control. We learn composure. We learn ritual. And a lot of people associate that with religious practice or something. But ritual is brushing your teeth every morning. You know, so we learn ritual, how to enter classrooms, you know, how to address people, the respect with which we compose ourselves and do things. All of this through this little martial art called capoeira that I love. So, you know, you see all of it in there. You see the music, the musicality, the movement, the acrobatic, the martial art. You know, capoeira is a very complete martial art. They learn another language. I'm blessed to work at an international school. Most of our students are multilingual. I'm just throwing Portuguese into the mix, you know? So <laughs> it's just really nice, you know? And I feel blessed, like I mentioned earlier, to be able to do this. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Um, that was just amazing. And uh, where's the performers? They're doing their, their changing room so far? Uh, they completely transform you, am I right? They are just amazing. Um, so I just want to say that um, so when Sue said she wants capoeira, I said, we've got to have capoeira. So Sue, <laughs> thank you. And uh, I want to just have a shout out to all the people who made this event possible this evening. Um, and you all know Sue Fishman, who has gone around and really been the leader of the event. I said it just, but for real, it's been Sue. And Elle Pollen, our development director. If you know anything about Bronx Arts, you know something about Ellen Pollan, who's done more to bring, our, uh, bring arts to diverse Bronx neighborhoods uh, than anybody, next to Bill Scribner. So um, we're really grateful to have Ellen on our team. 
So uh, this really is my time to um, say that I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Bronx Arts Ensemble because you've seen in the space of two hours or so really what we do. And I think the, um, you saw everything except those Indian sitar players and I wish we could got them back. Uh, but with a little out of our price range, we would have had to rent a bigger room and maybe quadrupled our uh, count uh, to get them back. But you did see a wonderful glimpse um, and you really saw not only how we really embrace art of its finest and its most international, but we also embrace our principals, our educational stakeholders, thank you so much, um, and our teaching arts. So Moses, uh, he is our first awardee. Do you have any reason to doubt why we gave Moses this award? Um, and why it's been written... This is not going to smart me. Uh, why it should really be a ritual. You know why? Because we're sending you a message that we care so much about our performers and we care so much about our teaching artists that we feel they are worthy of award of the highest caliber from the top of the organization. So Moses and all your colleagues, you are the real backbone who reach young people with this transforming power. And the Bronx would be really a lesser place without artists like you taking students to really explore horizons they never thought possible. Um, I do have to say that there is method to our madness, okay? Uh, we really thought out, and David and Ellen and the board are very devious, okay, because I told you about we're telling a story. And none of this would have been possible without the help of our dear friend and honoree, Josh. Okay. And I'm saying this because through Josh's efforts, we were able to create teachers out of contractors. We were able to make uh, all our wonderful teaching artists into true teachers. Okay, and when they became teachers, guess what? They started to teach and actually have a curriculum. I have to tell you that one of our best, this is a little bit wonky, but when you get a huge grant from Booth Ferris and when you have a partner like Columbia University, um, you are in good shape. Okay, so Josh made that possible. And by getting teachers instead of contractors, now you can start to say, hey, when you're teaching an art class, you're not just enriching, you're not just diverting from math and science and the quote unquote essentials, right? You're actually doing teaching and then you can show what you're learning. And I think that's been the most powerful thing that we can tell you today, that we are actually showing what we're learning. And uh, Judas here and the board members have really thought deeply over the journey that not only um, you've seen, but also that our kids take when they take one, two, and three arts, Bronx Arts Ensemble courses with us. Um, they learn not only about musical quality, and you've heard this before, that music is great for critical thinking, right? We all know that, right? Um, and that's true, okay? But what else do they learn? It's self-evident, right? They learn intercultural understanding, they learn communication, they learn how to really embrace each other. These kids are not all the same background, and look at them, they were a beautiful, dare I say it, ensemble. Um, and so I really think that the bottom line, and this is the one that we're actually now in business to produce, people who care about social justice. And that's actually in the curriculum, and that's what Josh helped do, and that's what Berena does every day, and that's what Moses teaches. Okay, so there is definitely method to our madness here, and the more we're able to support kids like that, you know as well as I do, we're living in very, very dire times right now. And when you can have Capoeira up here in Bay Cortland Park, well, you feel like maybe tomorrow we won't go to war with somebody or there won't be another cutback or there won't be ICE agents uh, flooding somewhere. Uh, because thanks to efforts like this, we can start to equalize the playing field. And I just have to stress to you that it is an unequal playing field. You know that. There are schools in which this is taken for granted, right? Um, there are schools within the Bronx that have more. There are schools that have less. I have to tell you, too, even among friends of B BAE who are part of it, there are schools who want more. They want more. They don't get enough. They can't pay enough. Okay, so if you like what you saw, I want you to do something for me. And I want you to think about this and what you can afford and what you can do and why you're here. But when I saw this, I realized that if we start thinking about what impact this has, we can't really tolerate schools that come begging to us for more, for more arts classes. And we're able to figure out, put a round number on it. There is $85 
takes, gives a class, uh, a school an extra class. Okay, and these schools are in dire need of more classes because when they take this class, they are actually moving towards greater and greater success. Um, they're in their dressing room right now. It foiled my plan. I want you to have, hear from them exactly what they're doing with their next year, especially those who are graduating from high school. So I do have some people who I have conveniently asked in advance because I'm going to be transparent here. I can't lie to you. Um, I would like someone in the audience that I know who this is to say, will you be the one to pledge $85 with a card that will be distributed to you for an extra class because it will give more of what you saw here and a better chance for an equal playing field so more Bronx kids get exactly what other kids get um, and the best of what Barst Ensemble gets. Is there anybody who will do that? There he is. Dart Westfall, $85. Thank you, Dart. Benny. Thank you, Benny. Ridiculously great. Point. That's another class. Yes, sir. Yes. Again, Terry, thank you so much. So glad you're here. Thank you very much. And thank you. We're going to get you all cards, so we will come back. Cards are right on the table. So I'm doing this, everybody, because fundamentally the Bronx Arts Ensemble, and I, had, I didn't raise my own hand. I'm going to do this right now myself. Fundamentally, we did this because we wanted to tell you that the Bronx Arts Ensemble and arts as a whole is about democracy. And you have really come out from all parts of the Bronx today. This is why we love the Bronx so much, the most diverse and democratic borough of all. So thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. We're going to make sure we visit with you in your communities. Come visit with us and come to our concerts, which you will see a little bit longer, a little bit larger. Uh, concerts, and I'm deeply grateful for all your help tonight and for your commitments that you just made. We will see you at the same bad time, bad station next year at this time, and we'll see you in the fall at our beautiful concerts. Thank you for coming, everybody. <laughs>